Alvin. I'm, I'm gonna need to kick you out. You're gonna have to go. What? Are you kidding me, bro? No, I'm dead serious. Like, this has been a while coming out. I'm only eight, Daddy. You're 42. <laughs> You're much older than me. I deserve to live here. Well, yeah, exactly. I'm 40. It's my house. How many mortgage payments have you paid? Zero. Well, I don't have any money because you won't give me any for my birthday. So how am I supposed to pay your bills? Yeah, I... Get a job. I don't know, dude. There's all sorts of stuff. I'm not old enough. Sure, well, go mow some lawns. What, are you worried about taxes? I don't know Under how the table. Worth dude, you know how many illegal aliens there are in this country? They can work just fine. All right? It's all off the record. It's off the books. Oh, so you're showing okay. zero initiative. So apparently you're at, so you're basically saying Zoidberg is real and he has no problem with the job. He lives in a dumpster. I don't, I'm not getting into a future on my philosophical debate here, okay? You need to pack your crap and you need to go, all right? Hi. No, you know, she's my child and you, know, you, you always love your child. Uh, unconditionally and whatnot, but it doesn't really bring a whole lot to the table. Um, I mean, like, I go to work every day, I have bills, and she just kind of takes. Um, I mean, she found a quarter. See you, dude. Try not to come back. So do I think um, that it was reasonable? No, I don't think it was reasonable because that was so unfair. I was all I was doing was sitting down and watching TV. I have no clue what the heck happened. So, so um, it's been really hard for me because at night. I eat nuts now, so this girl's always take them, so I'm always so mad. Yeah, it's been really hard, and I just wish I could come back here and, um... Uh, yeah, so I mean, I can finally do some things that I wasn't able to do before, like walk around naked. Um, which, okay, yeah, I did do that before, but... You know, it's just, there's no questions now, like I don't have people from child services coming up saying, uh, excuse me, but can you explain why your daughter can very accurately describe the shape of your penis? It's just a headache to answer these kind of questions. So it's nice that, that I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, and then other things are nice too, like I can leave, I can leave my Coke laying around. I don't have to worry about her getting into it. Um, heroin. Profit. It's 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 nice. It's nice. It's uh you know very very uplifting and very free feeling to just sort of have those restrictions lifted. my suspicions about Bob 
because I mean who picks their daughter out you know that that's <laughs> that's just messed up but I figured I'd give him the benefit of the doubt because I knew she was a little evil child um, so he hadn't been paying the rent and you know I was getting calls from the neighbors that the yard wasn't being mowed and that things were just a mess um, over at the house. Hello? Hello? Mr. Stone? Hello? Is anybody here? Hello, Mr. Stone? I'm coming in, it's Jill, your landlord. Hello? Is everything okay? Hello? Oh my God. Oh my God. This is enough, this is, I just saw your daughter in the rain outside. This, that was the, that was strike one, but I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I don't, I need time to think about this. You need to go get yourself some help. Mr. Stone, you need help. You have cocaine all over you. Oh my God, Mr. Stone. No. It's not snow. Look at you with heroin and drugs, cocaine. You I, you're gonna have to go get some help. Yeah, come on, let's party. Let's party. Oh my God, I, I'm thinking maybe your daughter should be living here and you should be out in the rain. Uh, she's a total square. Come party with me. So my plan is to kick Bob out. He's gonna have to go live in that pink tent on the side of the road. And his daughter, she can come in here and live here instead. Mr. Stone, let's go. Come on out. You're coming outside. We're we, we gonna go party? No, we are not gonna go party. Yeah. We're gonna get you out and get your daughter back in here. You do not belong in this beautiful house. Well, I think maybe- Wasting time, wasting yourself away. Nah. When your daughter is sleeping on the porch in a cat in a castle tent. Yeah, it's like. The, the come princess. on, sweetie, come on out. You go in the house. Yay! It's like, and you get in there. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's where you belong. Hey, hey. What about my drugs, dude? There's no drugs in here. I can't believe I got kicked out, man. Bullshit. I'm already covered in bugs. Look, look at all these bugs. I got one green. What kind of bug is green? But I guess praying mantises. But I gotta go. I gotta go live outside, and that's where all the bugs already are. And like, if I have bugs all over me inside, how many bugs am I gonna have on me outside? And I, I mean, I don't know. If it's what? It's gonna rain at some point. Which is good because I'll probably get thirsty, but like then I'm gonna be all wet and cold. And then, oh my God, what about snow? What am I gonna do? So I don't know. It's just unfair that a 42-year-old man should be forced to live outside in the tent. I mean, I'm not eight. I'm not resilient anymore. So I'm actually happy he got kicked out because I think life is much much better. Because if he was still here, oh my god, I would flip. I'm so happy he left because <clears throat> now I can take all his stuff. Now I can smoke all his crack. It's so awesome. Now I don't have to see him run around naked.